Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Let the Master not combine lies of Kumi Shara Shirali, give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. And Shalom Wahabla Bakiyar Shaya Shirali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharakak Wadasha Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And I don't have a specific title for this video yet, but the topic of this lesson is going into faith and how through trials and tribulations, our faith is increased through chastening of the Lord and different things that we go through. It strengthens our faith. So it's needed. All right. It's mandatory. It's necessary to go through different things so that our faith will go into the next level. All right. Uh, a prime example that I like to use is in Dragon Ball Z, uh, which is a, which is like an old cartoon. Um, there was a the Super Sands, which they were symbolic for Israelites, right? When they would go through tough battles, um, and, and even if and even if in that battle they was almost they was on the brink of death, if they made it through that battle, their strength their their strength and their powers would 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 double, even triple, you know, depending on how tough the battle was so it's the same thing with us faithfully and spiritually the different trials and tribulations the different battles that we go through in our everyday lives um it, it's just increasing us and it's just strengthening us and at the time you may not be able to realize it all right but when you go through another situation similar you see how you handle it differently and you see how much composed you are while you're in that fire while you're going in that battle or in that tribulation it's experience man all right. So without further ado, let's hop right into the scriptures. I'm going to start off with Hebrews on that note. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse. I'll start at verse 11. It says, now no chastening for the present time. For so like it now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. And that chat and that chastening, we'll just say that's the fire. All right. And Sirach, the second chapter says, I'll have to get that. I can't really go into can't really go into a, um, a video speaking of faith and being stronger spiritually without going into Sirach the second chapter for me, right? So this is Sirach the chapter two, because this this right here has got me through my lowest moments. All right, Sirach chapter two and verse one it says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation." We're serving Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, the true power. All right, and we expect and. So we should expect to go through different things. He's proving us. He's trying us. All right. He tried us in the wilderness. He always tried us. That's how the Lord deals with his sons. As it says in this Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it says that he chastened his sons. He chastened who he loves. Right. Verse two, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Set thy heart aright. The word heart is the Hebrew word lob, which means mind. Get your mind right. Get your mind prepared for the temptations. Get your mind prepared for the sufferings, right? And while you go through them sufferings, constantly endure. And don't make haste in a time of trouble. Don't be quick to get to jump out the ring, all right? Don't be quick to give up, right? Verse 3, it says, Leave unto, it's like it, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end so that you can get that increase. This past week, I was going through some shit. And it, while I was going through it, I, I kept saying to myself, I just need to be patient. I just need to endure because there's a blessing at the end of this. Mm -hmm. There's increase at the end of this. There's going to be a spiritual increase at the end of this. They're gonna, there's going to be an increase in faith at the end of all these trials and tribulations. At the end of this bullshit, at the end of this fire, this chastening, if I, if I stay faithful and keep my composure... And continue to trust and pray in Yahweh to, to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I will be increased at the end of all this shit, right? And then that increase gets you ready for the next shit that you gotta go to go through, all right? For the next trials, for the next tribulations that you have to go through, so that you can get another increase, so that you can get another boost. Our faith has to be, uh, uh our our faith has to continue to go up, all right? Our faith and our spiritual uh, strength has to continue to be increased because by faith is how we're going to enter into them chariots. In the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, it says, by grace, or, or, um, let me just read it. And we'll come back to that Sirach and we're not finished on Hebrews. 
This is Ephesians chapter 2 and verse Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. So we're saved, Salakia. Thought I was gonna sneeze, but we're saved through faith. <coughs> Salakia or Barakia. So we're saved by faith, right? And faith comes from Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Now, Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai is not just gonna send you faith in the mail. And then you go check your mailbox and, and there's a package and it says uh, uh, from heaven to you and, and, the, and the box says faith on it. All right. And you open it up and all of a sudden your faith is increased. No, the Lord gives you faith by taking you do by taking you through different things. All right. That's one way that he gives you faith. Also, the scriptures say that faith cometh by hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So faith cometh by studying the scriptures. All right. And all that is, is from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But. The aspect that we're talking about is the trials and tribulations. So the Lord takes us through different things to increase our faith, to give us that faith by which we are going to be saved. Faith is how we're going to have access to the chariots. Faith is the keys to getting up out of here, right? Let me get a precept for that. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5. It says, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. By faith Enoch was beamed up into a chariot so that he can escape death. And if we're part of the elect, our faith has to surpass Enoch, all right? Has to surpass the faith that Enoch so that we can escape the death that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is going to bring all around this world. And that we can uh, 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 enter into our chambers. As it says in Isaiah, the 29th chapter, I believe it's the 29th chapter, it says, enter that, it says, enter thou my people into thy chambers while the indignation pass, all right? The chambers is talking about the chariots and how are we going to enter into them, cha them chambers, them chariots? is by faith. Here's the example right here, right? It says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found and was not found because Yahweh had translated him for before his translation, he had his testimony. He had this testimony that he pleased Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai and faith is what pleases Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Let's read the next verse. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we have to have faith to please our heavenly father in the name of his only begotten son. All right. And the faith that we have now is, is is cool, but we need more of it. All right, we gotta we we gotta be like crackheads fiending for crack, but with faith. All right, I need more. I need more. No matter how much I get, I'm fiending for more faith because by faith is how is how we're gonna get through the terrible times that's to come, the trying times that's to come. All right, it says. Let's read that again. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please. To, to please him for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is which is what his name means Yah meaning he Hawa meaning is exist being he 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 is he is the existing one right it says um must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so with our faith we seek the Lord diligently with our uh, that's that's faith without works is dead the two go hand in hand right so let's go back finish on Ephesians Let's go back into Sirach. The Sirach chapter 2 and verse 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. All right. And what's going to be increased? Uh, our, our spirit. All right. And our faith. Verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Be patient when you are changed to a low estate. Why? For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So the gold, in order for it to be purified, it has to go through the fire. Now, while and that gold is talking about us. OK, it's just it's comparing us to gold. All right. And, and the trials that we're going through as gold being in the fire. So as we're in that fire, sometimes we'll get caught up in how hot the fire is. All right. And we'll lose sight on how uh, the reason why we're in the fire and what the fire is doing to us all right now the reason why we're in the fire is because it, we just read it the lord is trying us 
gold is tried in the fire. The first verse, it says, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Prepare your soul to be tried. All right. And as we're going through that fire, it's taking the dross. All right. Or the waste or the things that is not needed off of us. It's purifying us. It's strengthening us. It's making it's 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 increasing our faith. Right. It says whatsoever. Um, verse five, it says for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Verse six, believe in him, have faith and he will help thee. So no matter what you're going through, no matter how, how hot the the fire is. Hey, with Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, they was in the fire. The fire was turned up seven times more. Yahweh Shai was right there with him. All right. The Heavenly Father Yahweh sent uh, 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 his only begotten son to be right there with him to endure that fire. All right. And it said when they came out, you couldn't even smell, uh, you, 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 it, nothing was burnt on them. Right. It says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. All right. Have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai at all times. OK, no matter what it is, we can't do anything without the Lord. It says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Once you go aside, that's when you fall. We are likened unto sheep and the Lord is our shepherd. With the shepherd, can't nobody fuck with us. All right. Can't, can't, no wolves is going to come. No bears is going to come. Try to come get us. No, no other. No other uh, predator can come fuck with us as long as we are with our shepherd. But as soon as that sheep goes astray from the shepherd, oh, that's free game. All right? You're going to be out there lacking. Okay? That's why it says in uh, Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. I'll be fine as long as I'm with the shepherd, no matter what. All right? It says, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him. And your reward shall not fail. So it keeps saying, it keeps using different words. All right. Uh, uh, but that's all synonymous with faith. All right. Trust in him. Believe in him. Right. It says, wait for him. If you're waiting for him, that's faith. All right. If I'm, if I'm, if I take the bus to work and I'm at the bus stop, I don't see the bus, but I'm waiting because I believe the bus is going to come and take me to my destination. Well, it's the same thing. We don't see Yahweh Shai right now, but we're waiting for him because we believe he's going to come and take us home. We believe that he's going to come and deliver us from all the hell that's going to come to this place. It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. That's another word that's synonymous with faith. Hope, right? Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. We, this, we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's why we have tried our best to mold our lives uh, according to the scriptures. Okay, because that's fearing Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And since we have done that and continue to do that, our hope should be for good. All right. Our hope should be for everlasting joy and mercy. We shouldn't be afraid of the shit that's to come. All right. And you still, because we're in the flesh, you'll still have uh, uh, thoughts of doubt that try to creep into your mind. All right. And it's good that we go through these trials and tribulations because while we're going through it, the Lord shows that he's with us. So that allows them thoughts of doubt to escape that allows them to to not enter all right also fasting fasting is good to increase your faith all right constantly praying always okay and if you're doing those things the lord will show he'll answer he'll he'll show the increase uh uh, uh from your fast all right he'll show he'll answer your prayers in your everyday lives right it says, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting, everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was, for, and was confounded? Has, there, has ever any had faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shani, left them out there to dry? No, it's never happened, right? And it says, or did ever any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did, ever, whom did he ever despise that called upon his name? It's never happened. Let me get the... So those were all in question form, right? So let me get the answer to that question. This is 1 Maccabees chapter 1. It's like it. 1 Maccabees chapter 2 in verse 51. It says, Call to remembrance what acts your fathers... It's like you call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and, and an everlasting name. Um, Did I... This is what I wanted. Bible shot, bear with me. 
Uh, right here it is. This is um First Maccabees chapter chapter two in verse sixty one. It says, "And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. None that put their none that have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall be overcome. So as long as we trust and believe and hope and have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we will not be overcome. We will not fall. We will not fail." Okay, so going back into um Sirach, the second chapter, that answers the 10th verse, right? And even in the Psalms, it says, King David said, I have been young and now am I old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? So not only you, but your children will be fine. Your seed will be fine. So you don't have to worry about that, man, all right? I got one on the way. And, and, and being in the flesh, being in the flesh, like, damn, what am I going to do? What about this? What about that? Fuck all the what ifs. And because that doesn't even mean shit. All right. The Lord can have you 100 percent decent than the motherfucker, man. All right. And all the worry, all the times you was worrying would, would, would you just a waste of time. At the end of the day, it's a waste of time. You'll cross that bridge when you get to it. And when you get to it, the Lord is going to show that he's right there with you. All right. And that he's going to help you get through. He's holding our hand while we cross the street. All right. So this is, um, I want to get a precept to back up what I just said in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Be careful of nothing, all right? Don't, don't, you, you don't have to... Don't worry. That's what that's saying. When it says be careful of nothing, you don't have to be full of care. You don't have to be full of worries. Why? All you have to do is pray and let the Lord do what he do. Let the Lord take care of it. Let his will be done. All right? Because you worrying and stressing, that's only going to make matters worse. All right? And that causes worrying and stressing. That causes doubt. All right? That causes infidelity, lack of faith. Okay? But when you pray, you just pray and say, hey, shit, it's out of my hands. I let the Lord take care of it. In the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom, right? And all these things shall be added on to you. So as long as we're serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in truth, sincerity, and in faith, he's going to take care of everything that we need. This is back in Sirach chapter 2, in verse 11, it says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. So while we're in that fire, the Lord is going to save us out of it. He puts us in the fire to save us out of the fire, right? That's the whole reason why Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was put in that fire. Imagine how much their faith was increased, all right? They already had a tremendous amount of faith. They said, fuck you and your idol. We're not going to serve you, all right? Our power can deliver us. And if he don't deliver us, we still not going to serve your dumb ass. And they was thrown into the fire. Then they weren't even burnt. Yahweh Shai was there with them. Imagine how much that increased their faith when they got out the fire, all right? Imagine how much more boldly they walked around, all right? And how much more confident in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai they walked, uh, uh, how they walked around believing, right? When, when, when the Lord delivered them out of that. The Lord had to put us in Egypt to deliver us out of Egypt, right? So the Lord is going to put us through certain scenarios just to get us out of them. All right. And while he's doing that, he's increasing our faith. OK. And brothers can attest to that. The different things that we've gone through. Sometimes it's like, damn, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get through this. That's how it looks it's like. Damn, it's damn near. What the fuck? What, what the hell am I do? Uh, what the hell am I going to do? And you just pray. Keep your composure. Stay faithful. Cleave to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai even more. And you get brought through it. And at that point, it's like, man, can't nobody tell me nothing. All right. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is the almighty, you know, but I want to get a precept in Corinthians to back that up. And then we'll probably finish it with the Hebrews. And, you know, the Sirach, the second chapter, I can go all day long. You know, I, damn near I end up reading the whole chapter. But this is Corinthians. First Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 12, it says, wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall so that, that goes into what always examining yourself 
All right. Always examining ourselves and seeing what can we do more. All right. What can we do better? What aspects can we work on? All right. Do I do, am I do I need to slack it? Do I need to pray more? Do I need to fast more? All right. Don't get comfortable. Don't get complacent. Complacent is how you lose. OK, like um, a prime example, a, a, a boxer. I feel like Adrian Broner, he got complacent. All right. Instead of working harder and harder to perfect his craft, to become the next Floyd Mayweather, right? He got complacent and thought he'll just go in there and whoop anybody's ass, right? Or oh, especially facing Madonna, all right? Madonna, he's got a more awkward, awkward style. I right? end up getting, you end up getting clipped, and that was pretty much his fault. But because what? Because he was complacent, all right? He didn't continue to train. He didn't continue to work on his craft as as he was doing when he first came into the fight game. All right. He didn't keep that same hunger. OK, but that's just a side note. Verse 13 is the main point. It says there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also but with the temptation, also make a way to escape that she may be able to bear it. All right. So there it is. It, it shows you right there that the Lord that we're going to go through temptations and the temptations that we go through is not it's not unbearable. Right. The Lord, because he, he's not unfaithful to put us through something that's going to break us. All right. He's going to put something in front of us that we know is going to try us. Right. It's going to try us. But he knows we we can we can go through it just like uh if you're lifting if you're lifting weights all right you're exercising well, matter of fact let me before i get that analogy let me finish on this hebrews hebrews chapter 12 and verse 11 it says now no chastening for this for the present seemeth to be joyous but grievous nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness what's the peaceable fruit of righteousness strong a stronger spirit all right more faith okay it says, unto them which are exercised thereby, which are exercised thereby. Now, when you go into that word exercise, it's the um, it's the uh the Greek word gymnazo, all right, which is which is a form of gymnos. All right. Now the term literally means to exercise naked, which is what them Sodomite Grecians was doing. Okay? But Another definition, when you go into the blue letter, it says to exercise vigorously in any way, either the body or mind. So that's the type of exercise that we're going through. All right. Mind, spirit. OK, it says to train. OK, we're training our mind. Now, going back into this first Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 it says there have no temptation taken you but such is common to man but Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able so the lord is not going to put weight on the bench press that we that he knows that we can't um that we can't lift all right if you was lifting 225 last or you've been lifting 225 for the past month this next month when we're about to hit the bench press the lord is not going to put 500 on there man all right. If you lift in 225, let's let's put 10 on each side. All right. And let's see how you do do with that. All right. Let's put 10, 10 on each side. That's 245 right there. All right. That's a slight increase. Now, that's going to be hard. And guess what? It, 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 you you may you may on that last couple reps, you're going to need that spotter because you're increasing in weight. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, he is our spotter. He's right there with us. All right. Soon as soon as you start, soon as your arms start shaking, soon as you get stuck. In midair, you can't even push no more. He all he's gonna do is tap tap the bar a little bit. You got it, and he's gonna pump you up. You got it. Trust me, you got it. All right, and that's and and spiritually, that's that's the scriptures going in. All right, you going through cer certain things, and and it's, and and you're struggling with it. All right, it's weighing on your mind, and then the the, the Lord hyping you up is putting them them precepts in your mind. All right, and and that's gonna help you push that weight off your chest, man. All right, and and rack that bar. And that's how you get stronger. So it's the same thing. It, we're being exer we're exercising, right? We're spiritually exercising, spiritually training. Okay. It says, it says, but Yahweh is faithful. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. 
But with the temptation also, but with the temptation also, make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. All right. So there's always a way of escape. There's always a way out. No matter what tribulations that we go through And when the Lord gives us that way of escape He allows us to get through that trials and tribulations We're increased spiritually We're increased uh, uh, in faith Alright so having that said Lord willing that was edifying um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Kakwadash Yahweh is the true holy powerful and mighty name of the heavenly father And Yahweh Shai is the true holy powerful and mighty name of his only begotten son Our Lord and our Savior Kakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us That allows us to rightly divide the word of truth And teach the word correctly and directly Give double honors to the elders of Israel Being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well And Shalom Wahab Labak Yashorala Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel Alright um You brothers stay faithful all right, stay prayed up, um, fast when you can. Um, just continue to prepare for the times that we're coming into. That, that's what's important. All right, uh, that's that's what our main focus should be in increasing our faith, and which means staying in the scriptures, continue to watch. All right, uh, um, the apostles, watch what's going on in the world. Okay, uh, lining up the prophecies, um, praying. That's going to increase our faith. Faith is going to increase our faith. And when we're in tribulations and we're going through temptations and so on and so forth, just continue to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because there is a way of escape. And when he brings you through that stuff, your faith will be uh, uh, um, increased exponentially. And that faith that he gives you at that point is, is just getting you ready for the next thing that's to come down the line. All right. So having that said, Shalom. Salvation draweth nigh and, and redemption is nearer than when we believe.